we as an organization, the Iowa Soybean, uh, are working statewide with a lot of groups on water quality issues. Um, the message is getting out there. Uh, producers are looking for those solutions to help address the, the issues they're facing. We build a lot of partnerships. It helps leverage resources. It helps leverage ex expertise and time. But we're working with the local NRCS office, the local SWCD office, um, uh, the Nature Conservancy, uh, private foundations, state agencies. I mean, it, it takes a whole group, a whole partnership to really move these things forward. One of the tools that we like to use in our watershed planning is to use uh, RASCAL. It's the Rapid Assessment of Stream Conditions Along Length. And what that is, we actually get out with the landowner's permission to walk the entire length of the stream. And then we catalog what's actually occurring in the stream. And we get results from that that we can't get just from aerial photography that we could get back in our desk. So we're actually tracking stream bank erosion, stream habitat, uh, the substrate of the stream, and different, different things we see in the riparian areas, such as tile lines coming into the stream. Every watershed's different. Uh, the solutions in watersheds may be different. What works in one, one area for one group of farmers uh, may be the exact opposite in a different part of the state. Uh, watersheds are very dynamic places. That's another reason why we monitor is things change on the landscape rapidly at times. Uh, when you get a rainstorm or a drought, it can have a tremendous impact on water. Water quality changes take time. Um, where if you're doing agronomics, you can see a management change and improvement over time. Water quality takes some time to actually measure that change. So we're doing uh, studies and investigations and assessments in these watersheds, working with producers, making changes in their management to eventually document change over time. And the state of Iowa should feel positive because there's a lot of groups, a lot of agencies really striving to uh, do the right thing. Farmers in particular like a voluntary approach. They don't like sweeping mandates because as I said, the solutions in different watersheds are different. There isn't any one thing that's gonna improve water quality universally. So. They like to be able to, to find their own solutions. And they live in these watersheds, they drink the water, they uh, care for the land. So uh, farmers do have an incentive to be a good steward. They live out in the countryside.